Hey guys, it's Josh here with DesireTutorials.com and right now we're working with a fresh install of Drupal and I'm going to go through and show you how to uh, install Drupal Commerce on Drupal 8. I already showed you how to fix a bunch of errors that you get when you install Drupal 8 but I did not fix those errors on this website I don't think. But you can find my uh, video in my video section as well. The first thing we want to do is we want to come to Drupal.org and we want to actually get our Drupal Commerce module. So you can just come to this URL, drupal.org slash project slash commerce. Then you can download this or copy this link. But you first must know that there are some de dependencies that um, Drupal requires, and it's these. So we can go through and just we'll open all these up in their own tab. We'll go through and get them one by one. I think rules might always already come uh, by default, but I'm not sure what comes all default in Drupal 8. So the first thing to get a module is we come down here and we click this, the version version 8 that we want. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to right click the, uh, the tar file and we're going to copy the link location. And then we come back to our website. And under extend you want to put a install a new module. Then right here we're just going to control V and we're going to paste that uh, link that we just copied. And we're going to say install. It should take care of the rest for us. Right, so now we're going to say install another module. Let's go. I'll get out of this one. I'm going to come down here to Drupal 8. I'm going to copy the tar whatever file. So comp copy link location. I'm going to paste that in there. Say install. And I'm, I'm going to go through all those dependencies that I showed you, and then I'll come back after, I, uh, after I'm done installing all those. Alright, so on the address field, there's actually a different location you have to go to to get this one. And views was already uh, comes with the core of Drupal 8, and that was the only one. We're coming down here, and at the bottom, there's um, replaced by whatever that says. So you click there. Just the same process. We're gonna get that one. And then with that, we need one more module that's not listed on the uh, dependencies. So we'll come up here to project, and we're gonna want Ludwig. I'm not sure who named it. That's probably the guy that made it. Um, and this just um, gets rid of the need for a composer. And it'll, you'll be able to come to your uh, your reports tab and to package. And you just need to install these to make uh, Drupal Commerce work. So let's get this file real quick. So install another module. Then we're ready to turn everything on. The only thing we won't be able to turn um, Drupal Commerce on, but we have to run through Ludwig to make that all work. So come down here. We want to turn on all of our chaos tools. Um, you can turn that on too. See, Commerce won't let you turn anything on, so you have to do the uh, Ludwig steps that I'm going to show you a little bit later. Um, You should be able to turn everything on after um, we get everything set up. But let's see. Make sure you turn Ludwig on. Then we're going to go through that process. I guess we need that module to turn rules on. So let's go get that module real quick. So let's go back to Drupal.org. And then once that saves, I'll come back and I'll um, install this module.
and turn on rules. Oh, we'll do that in a second. So now we can turn the rules on. Okay. All right. So now let's do the uh, the Ludwig stuff that I was talking about. So with Ludwig installed, we come to our reports. We come to our packages, and here's what we have to do. This takes care of the composers for us, and we just want to follow these steps very methodically because it's kind of confusing. So all you want to do is first download this file. We're going to save it. Then we want to come into our control panel, our file manager, and we want to come to our uh, modules, address, lib. I think we have to make the lib folder. So we'll come to our control panel. We're going to go to modules, address, and we make the lib folder. So folder, and then inside this, um, this lib folder, we will make a folder called this. I'm just going to copy it. Now our file name is going to be v1.0 that we upload in there. So inside the lib, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm just going to name it that. Then inside here, we want to upload that file we just downloaded. That's that one. And so now we're going to refresh. We're going to extract the files. We're going to refresh. We're going to name this on um, version 1.0. So then we're going to say OK. Now when we refresh this page, this is going to go from missing to say enabled. Just kidding. Oh, that's why I didn't rename it. See, so yeah, I said you have to be very methodical when you're doing this. Now when we refresh the page, it should go to, yeah, they got installed. So now we're going to do it for all of these. So we need a new folder there. And then under um, address, we'll go to do this one. We need a new folder called this. We're going to save. I'm going to go up one level. We're going to make a new folder right here. And then inside this folder is where I want to upload that new that new file I just downloaded. And I want to make sure I name it whatever that is. So we extract the files, refresh the page, and we're going to rename this just that. And now that one should say uh, not missing. <clears throat> and then um, this one gets, is in a different location, so watch out. It's, it starts here instead of uh, address. So you, you go to modules, commerce, then you're going to make a lib folder, and you're going to name put a folder inside there, name that. So I'll download this. So under commerce, you want to make a lib folder. And inside your lib folder, you want to make a folder that we just copied. Then you want to go inside here and you want to upload that file that we just downloaded. Which is that one. Then once that oh, then once that's done, we just want to name it that file. So we're gonna extract the files, refresh it. We're gonna name it that. Now they all should be um not missing anymore. There we go. 
And now we're going to come back to our uh, extend right here and we're going to look at our modules. We're going to see if commerce can be installed. I'm sure it can't. No, I'm probably missing something. So we click right here. And we'll see what we're missing. So we have to go get this file. So that looks like the only one. We're just going to search this file or whatever I just copied. Then we'll go to the modules. And I'm going to just install this one real quick. So number 8. There you are. Copy this. Right, so now let's see if commerce can turn on. And there we go. Now you can turn your store on. Um, everything that you can. It's going to prompt you to turn on whatever's not turned on as well. But then to actually um, get these other things working from... Oh, I'll show you. I'm not sure why it says these are missing. But so let's see. Alright, so let's see if the other ones, maybe you have to do them in a certain order. So commerce is turned on, now let's turn on these other ones on and see if it'll let me. I mean, it only makes sense if it'd let you, right? So I definitely installed those libraries. Yeah, so I guess you just have to turn the first one on, then it'll let you turn the rest on. My bad. So let's go back down there. Oops. Then those modules were all enabled. So then, if you, say you want to en enable these modules, we're just missing a couple things probably. Like see, like this one's missing, and this one's missing. So you just go through and get those modules, turn them on, um, and then you can turn these modules on as well. So I hope that was helpful for installing Drupal Commerce. Because now if we see over here our commerce. We have our store, we have our products, and I assume everything is similar to the way Drupal Commerce worked in Drupal 7. So, yeah. So, I hope that's helpful, and I'll talk to you guys later.